You're eating Cheerios out of a bowl? What's your problem? There's nothing wrong with me. What is wrong with you? I'm just trying to eat my funny butt Cheerios. What is wrong with you? I'm lactose intolerant, okay? Yay! No! Hi everyone, Brace the knee off Tano here. Well, would you look at that? I have to review X now. Uh, so this could be referring to uh, X by Nikki Jam or X by Schoolboy Q. Which one is it? Uh, Make this a triple X review. See what I did there, because there are three X songs, and his name is Triple X. Oh, you want to make this a triple X? Well, let's uh, dedicate this third spot to the actual Triple X. Stop it! You can't give him any more attention. You're right, Lokerts. That's the single thing you've ever said to me that's made any sense. I already gave him enough attention. He was in my first episode. You know what? I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh! To start this episode of X versus X versus X, I'm gonna be talking about the Nicky Jam song X, or as they pronounce it in Spanish, X. These lyrics are really worthless. Super diamond dustin. Nothing beyond pretty woman, you are attractive, may I kiss you. There is literally nothing here lyrically that's compelling. So I'm just gonna move on. These two have like such a distracting vocal contrast. Nicky Jam is going so aggressively, that's part of his style. He sings very aggressively. <laughs> this contrasts from uh, J Balvin. His voice is very light and delicate. Oh, oh my God, the production. Play it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> supposed to be serious? That literally sounds like a guy farting into a trumpet. You're not telling me that this is supposed to be taken seriously. Um. You guys like Black Panther? Are we on ten yet? Are we on ten yet? Now there's this other song called X off the Black Panther soundtrack. It's also called X. Kendrick starts off the song with the insanely infectious hook. He sounds like he's having so much fun. This song sounds great. It like everyone on the song, all four artists involved sound like they're having so much fun on it. But yeah, Kendrick especially sounds like he's having the time of his life. He has this energy that carries the entire song. Fantastic. Following that is Saudi. He delivers some great lines. I move the peace on you. I leave you puzzled. And on top of that, he has a very interesting vocal delivery, which I appreciate because, you know, he sounds different. Backing this all up is this amazing, super fun, energetic beat. And Schoolboy Q comes in and he just destroys it. He's got this weird swing in his voice. It's fun to listen to, to sing along to. He's got some uh, great, great lines. Not even Kendra can humble me. Ah! And then we get 2 chains, and I don't like 2 chains. He, he's, he's always half asleep in the... When he records anything, he missed song. He, oh my god, like... Uh, he delivers a fantastic performance on this. It is. It's got great flow, great lyrics, great voice. Every single performance works. Uh, when his verse drops, uh, the beat pitches up, and for once, it sounds. Uh, it, it, you know, it sounds good. There are two changes first. Kendrick Lamar is underlaid through the whole thing. And wow, does it sound good. Overall, this song is a banger. Great performances, great flows, great lyrics, a fantastic beat. X by School by Q and Friends. Check it out. All right, time for the last song of this episode, Changes by XXX Tentacion, the triple X for the triple X. Rip X. What's that? Rip X? Oh yeah, well I'm gonna tear him to shreds. This song is terrible. Alright, let's start with this instrumental. Uh, first of all, 
I could do it. Alright. You guys probably think I'm kidding, but I, I, I want to say I'll rip X. Uh, this is for you. Uh, you were a great person who definitely didn't endanger anyone's life. On top of that, it's uh, super underwritten. The lyrics are terrible, it's super vague. The lyrics are not telling me anything, so it's not compelling. The structure lyrically of this song is some of the worst I've ever come across. This has no verse, this is literally a chorus, then a bridge, then another chorus, and it ends. Something like five or six lines repeated the whole thing, there's no Diversity like were you asleep when you wrote this dude? Maybe it would make more sense in context you hecking nerd You shouldn't need context to listen to a two-minute song Look up the context All right, and you know what I'm gonna do that. Let's go to genius Okay, I'm back and uh No X fans this won't help your case at all this context makes the song exponentially worse. This song was apparently written about XXX Tentacion's ex, who he beat up, and she accused him of it, go figure. And uh, he, he viewed this all as a betrayal. Listen, you beat her up. She can sue you all she wants. And don't tell me that it's just a legend, because he went to jail for it, all right? I know this is an episode about X, but why X by Nicki Jam is a worthless fart of a song and uh, with a hilarious instrumental solo that I give a 0 out of 5. X off the Black Panther soundtrack is on uh, one of the most infectious bangers of the entire year so far and I would give that a 5. And Changes by XXX Tentacion. This is one of the worst songs of the decade so far. This is an easy zero. It's got bare bones, lazy instrumental with uh, X just m moaning and mumbling simultaneously these five to six lines of uh, melodramatic uh, teen angst. The context of make it exponentially worse. Since this episode has three songs, I need not just a winner, but a runner-up. So obviously the winner here is uh, Schoolboy Q with X, and the runner-up is A Kiss by Nicki Jam, I know. <laughs> Bye.